it's system review time and boy have I got a treat for you today the new GB station light 2 games 700,000 built-in 111,000 card 1 super classic cartridge it says there's Crash Bandicoot coming out of the screen of what looks like a GBA SP 3D it says right a big screen mmm there's Crash Bandicoot again cuz he was a Nintendo character wasn't he yeah the GB Station Lite 2 what does it say play all the GB Station Lite 2 color and GB sta Station Lite games you already own what okay um enhanced backlit screen for take anywhere gameplay Use the AV cable to link up with GB Station Lite 2 system to the AV in jack for use with TV. Wouldn't that be an AV out jack? But anyway, um, includes AC adapter and lithium ion rechargeable battery pack. Good for up to six to seven hours of continuous gameplay. The battery life varies depending on the temperature and usage. Mm hmm. Okay. Warning blah 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 in Arabic by the look of it. Sad onion. 0-3, okay, yeah, don't give it to your kids, because they'll probably throw it in the bin. Um, let's have a look. Yay, yay. Instructions. Comprehensive, very, um, yeah, we don't want to read them. We'll look at that in a sec. We have AV cable. Uh, yeah, okay. Pretty pretty standard. Tiny little jack. Don't know how long it is. I haven't really looked at it. Uh, power thing sealed. Haven't opened it because the battery came charged, which was handy. Uh, it's a standard USB, mini USB, whatever. Probably I would advise using a, a different power supply. <laughs> Maybe not that one. There's a cartridge that comes with it, with a hundred and eleven thousand games on it. It says Super Classic Card 2. You can see it's got it's got an edge connector there. Whether or not there is actually anything in here at all, I don't know. But the part that you really want to see, allegedly, is this GB Station. It looks like a Game Boy Advance SP. Let's just, you do have a battery in there. It, when it came, the battery was not in here. I had to put it in myself. It's not a difficult thing to do. I imagine that's a fairly standard. Is that a Nokia battery? I don't know. Um, AGS 003. Or, or is that a, a standard um, Game Boy Advance battery? I don't know. It's cheap and nasty whatever it is so you've got a cartridge slot there which this does fit into badly actually you, you can't re you're thinking is that in I don't know if that's in it is in um before I turn it on we'll, we'll just sort of have a quick look at this volume control very yeah, whatever um, shoulder buttons one of them doesn't actually appear to do anything at all, but anyway. Um, on, off, power, open it up. Yay, it still looks like a GBA SP. Except that's a reset button instead of uh, the backlight control. You've got your A and B buttons, you've got your start and select, you've got your D-pad. Um, I'll tell you something now before we start looking at the games. I have watched many reviews of much cheap tat and some not so cheap tat and heard people describe the controls on various handhelds as spongy and I've never actually known what they were talking about. I Even some handhelds that I have tried myself um, I've heard people describe the controls as spongy and I've thought well, it feels okay to me. This 
Now I know what they're talking about. This is hard rub hard plastic. Very hard plastic. It's cheap, 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 nasty hard plastic. But when you push it, it doesn't it it, it just feels like a squishy squashy rubber thing. Um it's horrible. <laughs> it really is. It's that's horrible. Anyway, um and these are no better. I mean, they must have a membrane thing going on underneath them, like on an old Spectrum, but... Yeah. Okay, let's turn it on, because this is really what you want to see, isn't it? Look, hey, there's me with the camera. So, power up. Yay! In it. 700,000 in one! The first thing you might notice, if you look at the very second one, I mean, Anger Bird 4 is the first game. Yeah. The second game is Anger Bird 3. Mm. Only, notice, it's actually not that easy to read the writing. And the thing with this marvellous piece of technology, you can probably tell it's a Famiclone. It's, it's NES games or Famicom games, largely, though I'm not sure. Crash? Is that um, is that is that like there's reference to cra well there's Crash Bandicoot on the box is this the Crash Bandicoot game they're referring to I don't know oh, I've had a go at it it's some platform game we might have a look at it in a bit but uh, no it's it's NES games I can't quite read mon monster in my something NES games have a certain screen resolution not particularly high this here handheld has a screen of a particular resolution which is probably higher than the resolution of the NES however the, the screen resolution of this thing is mismatched with the resolution of the NES and it makes the writing and some of the graphics uh, messed up is the best way I could put it. You, you can't read some of the writing, some of the graphics are just... You lose bits, you... you, you what, what, I mean, what, what is that? What does that say? Don't know. Um... So it's not... Um, yeah, what, what? Eh? Don't know. That... You know. It's not ideal. A higher resolution screen would do it. A low resolution screen that matches the NES video output would do it. But when you've got a, mi a mismatch like this, it's just kind of a bit awful. Anyway, um, the other thing I need to point out, if you haven't noticed already, the box says 700,000 games. Obviously, that is absolute bollocks. The advert that I found this on... Well, it was a, it was, I bought it from eBay. And the page where it was for sale, the seller said 160 games. And I thought, okay, that sounds plausible. Because um, there are plenty of NES games out there, and Famicom games. Um, no, that was also bollocks. So, um, how far can we get before we get back round to Anger Bird 4? Well, it doesn't go right back to Anger Bird 4, but certainly around here we've seen these already. Donkey Kongs 1 and 2, we've seen them already. Where did it... what? Anger Bird, Poker, blah blah. Yeah, I don't know. Had we seen the Donkey Kong before? No? Yeah. You probably got about 28, yeah, I think you probably got 28 games on there, give or take. I'm looking and seeing, I think we've seen all of the, all of these before. I would say there are 28 games on that. Now, turn that off, plug this in. Am I plugging it in up the right way? I'm not sure. That'll do. We'll turn it on. Turn it on again. Yes. Here we go. GB Station Light. 
do hurt. You see, they can't even on the box. How many games did they say? A hundred and eleven thousand games in one. It says on the box. On the cartridge, it's two hundred and twenty-two thousand in one. They can't even lie consistently. So you got Anger Bird one, Snow Brothers Contra six, Devil one, Big Doug one, Donkey Kong three, Donkey. So you know, you, it is more games. Um, and by my calculation. You've got about 18 games on here. Um, I don't know if those games are on that cartridge, or is this one of the those things that just creates a, a connection, creates a circuit, and activates another bank of games within this. Do you know what I mean? Like like they did on the old... Um, forgotten what it's called, that old Pong machine, the Magnavox Odyssey, yeah, are they doing that old trick, don't know, could be, I, I'd have to take the cartridge apart to tell, and even then I might not know, and I'm not going to take it apart, because it's such cheap fat, it might never go back together again, the whole thing might disintegrate, so, let's have a look at some games, because that's what it's all about, really, having surmised, I think, that it is cheap fat, uh, Anger Bird 1, no, what is it, Anger Bird 4, is not Angry Birds. I don't actually, copyright much. How do we start? I don't know what's going on there, that looked like a seal. Didn't seem to have much to do with birds at all. There one. That... I don't know what's going on. I'm having, I'm not doing my usual thing where I've got the, the that looked like a green strawberry. I haven't got the, the handheld on the table like I would normally do. It's like, it's so crap I can't be bothered. <laughs> Just awful. This doesn't appear to have a, is that an, I suppose it could be an angry bird. I can't tell, the resolution is so poor, the screen is so small. Um. Yeah, okay. Press the reset button and let's have a look at something else. We might tell whether it's any good or not. Uh, Super Mario. We know what that's meant to look like. And it looks like Super Mario. Let's try and find the start button. This, I mean, I'm not good at Super Mario anyway, but it's not easy to play this with this spongy D-pad. Um, responsive it is not. It works. And, oh, bollocks. As you can see, I suck at Super Mario. And it sounds, is, is the speed right? I'm not sure. Oh, you bird. Anyway, so it works. We don't really need to look at it anymore. But what I do want to do, because I haven't done it yet, is plug that in. And where's the 3D? They lie. We're going to plug this in. We're going to see how it displays on the telly. Because while the screen on this, I mean, you do have that problem of the resolution mismatch making things look a bit wrong a bit mangled um, if it displays adequately on a telly that would be a positive though I've got to tell you the length of this is about two and a half feet um, yeah you're gonna have to sit close to your 30 inch 32 inch TV <laughs> to play your NES games so that's going to look great bear with me okay having plugged it into my telly I am pleasantly surprised because you can read all of that text um, yeah so I can see that does say crash 3 monster in my yeah I guess that's pocket um, 
it looks good. It's actually decent quality video output. Uh, I was expecting an amount of crunch. Yeah, okay. If you move, if you touch the jack thing that's plugged into the handheld, it will do that. But it's not terrible by any means, and that is pleasing. Yeah. So now the question is. How will this look? Because I've played this on the built-in screen and it's not great. Yeah, it just looks like playing it on a NES by... By, by, I can't complete that sentence. I don't know what I was going to say. Mm. It's a bit crunchy looking. It's a bit dark. God, how did I do that? Uh-oh. Up. It's working. It is bollocks. Actually, it's not bollocks. It's it's all right. You know, uh, probably want to uh, tinker with the brightness controls and things like that to uh, boost up the darker bits, like the browns. The, the browns are getting lost in the black. But, um the reset button take it back to a menu yeah it works so what do I think of that the GB station light 2 you would think I would think this is a piece of junk maybe I would understand you thinking that technically and on many levels it is a piece of junk the screen is crap the, uh, the box is a complete bunch of utter, utter, utter lies. The person who was selling it also lied about how many games were on it. But when you know you're buying cheap Chinese tat, you expect lies. Um, I knew, obviously, this was not a GBA SP. I knew it was a Famiclone. Um, I knew it wasn't going to be top quality. And it's, I mean, in the hand, it's incredibly light. It feels like it's completely empty. There, there will be a tiny little circuit board with a couple of chips on it and nothing else. But it doesn't matter. It plays the games it's got quite adequately. The screen on it is pretty, like I said, it's a mismatch. But you can see what you're doing enough to play the games. The controls, these are horrible. You have to press them quite hard to make them work. Not, not in the same way as, say, the... Um, Spectrum, Vega, whatever it is, that handheld thing where that they just were a disaster. But in that it's spongy and you've got to press it down quite a long way. There's a lot of spongy travel before it responds, but it does. And the thing is, where you and I, certainly I, old git, prefers a little bit of uh, sensitivity so you can have a bit of finesse with your controls... Who do you know who plays video games and is liable to absolutely mash the buttons and mash the D-pad? Kids. Do you remember when you played video games as a kid and you probably trashed half a dozen joysticks because you were wrenching them and you killed your NES D-pad because you were just mashing it because you, you, you know, press harder, you'll, you'll move faster kind of thing. This, I think, would work being played like that and kids will do that this I would give to a child and the final thing and this is the most important factor in why I think this actually isn't a diabolical abomination it costs nine pound fifty that you've got you got what did I say 28 games built into this you've got about eight games built into the cartridge £9.50. They're good games, most of them. You know, they're the kind of games, if you were going to play old NES games, you would want to play these kind of games. Um, you would want to give them to your kid or your grandkid. Introduce them to retro gaming or just make them shut the hell up in the back of the car. £9.50 is enough to spend to shut up your screaming brat. Surely. I think so. Um, yeah. They're on eBay. I, uh, 
I've got to look up what they call it. I, whatever, whatever they call it, I'll put it in the description. There are lots of them on there. They're cheap. They're what you would expect. But at that price, I think they're actually pretty impressive. Okay, going to shut up now. Thank you for watching. Patreon? That's not even a word. You made it up. <laughs>